Welcome back. In some out-of-this-world news this morning, NASA is planning on bringing samples from Mars back to Earth by 2033. The program will see scientists retrieve rocks from the red planet using some of the most sophisticated instruments to study the samples. I love that picture. We're sending everything up there too. Let's yeah. bring in astronomer Dr Sarah Webb from Bendigo in Victoria with the latest. Sarah, great to have you here. What exactly is going to be involved in this mission? Uh, this should be a Hollywood movie by itself. <laughs> this mission is insane. So they're going to be sending out multiple landers, one that's going to have a rocket to return back to Earth, very important. They're also going to send up two other helicopters based off the, the design of the other successful helicopter we have up there at the moment. And then Perseverance, our trusty new rover that is up doing all the hard work, will actually be tag teaming like a relay, bringing the samples back to the helicopters, back to the rocket, and then eventually wow. back to Earth. Wow. Um, it is a movie. What is the significance <laughs> of collecting this data, these samples from Mars? What do you think they will tell us? It is insanely important. So what a lot of people don't know is we can only send so much up on a rover. You can only do so much analysis with the limited tools that you have. There are many, many things that we want to and need to do here on Earth to really understand what is happening in the Martian environment. And we're pretty limited. So we either have some meteorites that we're pretty sure are Martian and we can analyze them, but we haven't gotten anything from the surface that we are we can confirm is from the Martian surface, from a particular area, and then we can do our detailed analysis on it. Well, I hear it's lovely this time of the year. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Australia <laughs> is getting front row seats to not one, but two, but no, three meteorite showers <laughs> this week. What do we know about this? We don't usually get this many. Oh. That's right. So we are getting three meteor showers. Um, these are going to be particularly great because we've got a new moon, so it's going to be a nice dark sky. Um, what meteor showers are, though, is the Earth is just travelling through some dust and debris. Our solar system is a little bit messy. We've got debris from comets that have come too close to the sun or, you know, just close enough left us some dust debris and we fly through it every single year. Um, so we've got a little bit more from these comments in the past couple of decades. Wow. When will, we, um, when will be the peak viewing time for people hoping to catch a glimpse? So if you're in Australia, you want to head outside around 11 p.m., I believe it is. So stay up a little bit later. You want to look to the northeast and about 45 degrees off the horizon. Well, and looks like I'm going to miss it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a bit Daddy late. needs his sleep, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> you need your beauty sleep. Very I do, Daddy. Sarah, thanks. <laughs> thanks so much, Sarah. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Thank Sarah. You.